Divine Victoria, am I interrupting? Not at all. The Earl of Redcliffe was telling me of events in Denerim. He represents Ferelden at the summit. Inquisitor, good to meet you. How are things in Redcliffe, my lord? We still come across scars left by the Venatori, but the land continues to mend. I had hoped to steal a moment of the Divine's time. Very well. We'll continue this later, your perfection. I am supposed to be impartial while speaking for the Chantry, but I confess that neutrality is beyond me. I may be the Divine, but I will always be your friend. And I can hardly ignore the fate of the Inquisition that I began. When world powers want to discuss plans for the future, I get nervous. I share your concern. The Inquisition is still needed. Some delegates do not yet understand that. I must attend to other matters. If you need me, I am ready to assist. Unconditionally. I'm glad you finally arrived, Inquisitor. The Crown's anxious for news. And your thoughts on Ferelden's position? The breach is long gone, yet Skyhold's army remains. Ferelden can't continue to ignore soldiers on its borders. The Inquisition must have a military arm, Altigan. In your position, I would want the same. That does not mean it reassures me. A power without allegiance to either Ferelden or Orle? Even I see neither of our countries can let it rest. I won't keep you longer. We'll have words enough when the Exalted Council begins.